Welcome back. Okay, so last time we left off, we were running around as the Empire, as Wild Carl Franz, stomping on enemies of the Empire. Let's continue this amazing journey. So if I can remember correctly, we were about to take Grunberg. I command here. He commands here. Let us double check these volume settings because this is sounding excessively loud from what I remember them. D -d 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 sound? Oh, they're the same. Maybe down a notch. Let's do that and then we're back in. Okay, resume game. So, some world events happened. I've not seen this in many before. Oh, this is quite nice. Recruited units. This is quite nice. Oh, this is a very nice improvement on the previous system that they had. Very useful because this shows what you did, where you did it. Nice. And it shows you that you've read it. Nice highlighted information. This goes to my boss. Of course it does. This goes to here. Faction. What is this? Faction encountered. I have land. Establish contact with them. I may now establish relationships with them. Should we see fit? Make war with them. Okay, where is that? It's here, okay. So from there to there. Hmm. Hmm. Then. Yes, okay, we did that. No, I don't want to do that. I did this, I want to do that. There we go. So, Carl, what do these buttons do? Objectives. Technology. Treasure. Summary. Diplomacy and offices. Let's have a look. Hmm. Or should we have a look? Let's have a look at technology. No, let's not do technology. I changed my mind. Let's attack their castle. Attack! Fight for our next city has been reached, and your warriors are prepared for battle, mighty lord. Study your options, nevertheless. We'll study Exerting our options. The and starving them mm. out may be the wisest course of action. <clears throat> okay. So generally speaking, these total war games have several options available to the player. Let's see, we can do we can fight a battle, we can auto-resolve the battle, which uses the power balance distribution. We can break siege, which is technically leave the fight, and our character would run away this way somewhere. Or we can encircle, surround the enemy, this is basically siege on, and there's a certain amount of turns that would have to pass before the enemies are forced to fight or lose the capital. Quick save, scout terrain, we scout the terrain. It's a very small structure, so this looks like hilly general terrain with some woodland sections. What is this number? Oh, okay. Turns remaining until supplies run out and the garrisons starts to suffer attrition. Right? Turns until they surrender, right? I'm assuming four turns in a year, okay. Something like that. What I think we will do is we will go ahead and attack Grunberg and look at more fighting. Who's their general? This guy. It's very interesting. Oh, I guess this is Arm Ulfric. Wolfric Helborg is going to get attacked by Emperor Karl Franz. Let's go. Mm, I do very much like how they give unit tooltips in loading screens. Very nice extra information to remind players. Good use of time in between loading sessions. Right, so, our battlefield. Yeah, as expected. What is this? Oh, I guess this is if I scroll all the way out, it does this. Yeah, okay, uh, whatever. Moving on. Over here. So we won't know where the bad guys are starting, therefore we can expect them to spawn somewhere in here. And because they are on the defensive, they will probably be, they will probably be here. So what we're going to do is we're going to march up through here, up on this hill, and then gently engage them. Because we're going to do that, because I don't believe the, enemy, the AI is going to be moving, we don't really care about our initial setup too much. So we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to start the battle, we're going to click move. Interesting, they're there, so we're going to go there. 
We're just gonna walk, so not to burn any energy. Where is this unit? I forgot that unit. We'll go here. Go here. Where are these guys going? At higher speed. They are probably gonna go and occupy this space. So what we're gonna do is set up there, cav there, there, there. Nope, there, there, there. We're gonna anvil and hammer them. Infantry are gonna go this way, cav is gonna go this way and strike the flanks. They have swordsmen and spearmen. Our cav need to make sure we engage the swordsmen and not the spearmen. <laughs> Move our guys again. No, go to there. Shift click. Shift click again. Thank you. So we can. Um, how can I select all my spearmen? Let's see where I am. Control, select, click. Double click works. Control one. Thank you. Click, drag, release. Thank you. Missile units. Missile units will set up in front of this line. Spearmen here. Spearmen here leader in the middle. He's not gonna fight this battle because we need to we need him to regenerate some hit points. Oh here it comes. One is gonna run. This and this is gonna go this to that. This is to this, this to that, this to this setup. Cavalry is gonna start running. All these units are running. We are ready to receive the charge. We will count the charge, the enemy charge. Bam 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 um, they're gonna fight them. They're gonna go to there. They're gonna get to there. They need to get engaged. And that is the battle sorted out. This is gonna lose. The cavalry then will sweep through this whole side and clean house. Carl Franz needs to move out the way before he gets shot. I need to run, run. Let's see how easy we can micro this unit to there, to there, in fact, no, to this, and then we'll click draw and drag, like that. Cavalry are going to yolo through those lines, and then, and then, and then, and then, general is dead. Good. Good, clean up house, higher speed, because we don't care anymore. And then the cav are going to be shift click controlled ordered to kill everything in the battlefield at a higher rate. There we go. Crossbowmen, riflemen, something like that. Yeah, nailed it. Decisive victory. Mm. Go. Hey, we're we'll going some money. Okay. What is this coin? We gained a rank. He's a more bigger. Okay. Right. So, click that. What is this resource? The fate of those that remain. I guess we're going to determine their fate. So our four options are, we can occupy the settlement, we can loot and occupy, we can sack, and we can raise. Let's go from the back, from the right to the left. Raising means this settlement no longer exists. That is... Mm. So that would mean this settlement is destroyed and doesn't contribute anything else to the game until we rebuild it. I'm pretty sure you can rebuild settlements again at a price uh, which is quite severe from Attila. Then uh, <clears throat> this option to sack the settlement, we get some money, they lose some political province instability, it goes down by 10, and we do not take it. So this is very good if you just go in, take your money and go out again without having to deal with occupying the settlement and making sure it's taken care of, increasing its spurs, increasing its, uh, what is this thing called, instability level again, so on and so forth. Then, loot and occupy. We will take the money and we will take the settlement. We will take this amount of much money, we will take a profit, why is these different? These icons are different. Conquest penalty, province instability. I guess this icon is just for the settlement, this settlement will lose 30, and this icon 
is for the province that the settlement is in, or for the owner of the province. Then, so I wonder if that means it's minus 40 for this settlement, because 30 and 40, right? And finally, the last one is we will regenerate some units, which is okay. The province will take a three unit, three point stability hit and a 10 point conquest hit. And I think, I really want to know what this is. And I think we are going to simply occupy because I don't want to deal with this minus 30. This will the nation. Okay, we have gained a follower. This follower does gives our uh, he gives our army an ambush chance of ten percent. This item is a follower assigned to a character of my choosing. Okay, thank you, amazing. Well, we have gained a new mission. We have captured Grun. No, mission successful. Never mind the new mission. We have successfully captured Grunberg. Right, 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 right. Amazing. Your burgeoning realm grows, your eminence. Yet many evils still abound in this world. The empire remains divided and marauding greenskins still threaten your lands. Further afield, there are rumors of a dark force rising in the east. Dark force. The taint of undeath. We must remain vigilant. We must remain vigilant. Yes, okay. So we have a new objective. It has been issued to us. Fractured nation. The elected count of the new emperor has often led to bloody bloody blah, de bloody blah, but as nobles conduct the petty power struggles, de bloody blah, it is up to the newly elected count, cause sovereign to begin the process of reunification, bringing an entire province under his rule, must be a priority. We must occupy, loot, raise, or sack two different settlements. Okay, this isn't clickable. We get some money. Amazing. Sources report that Middenheim is sending help to the secessionists in an effort to destabilize the Empire, intercept their reinforcements, and demonstrate to Todbringer mm. that there is but one master of Reichland. One master of Reichland, okay. Issued quest. Details. Battle of Blood. Blood Pine Woods. Middenheim, messengers of Middenheim, Arti, cannot mortar, mortar. Hey, they have rocket artillery, Katyushas, MLRS. Okay. This swordsman infantry, spearman infantry, sword infantry. This is, uh, this is their general. Reinforcements expected. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh. So we get the reward, we get a sword of striking, okay. And we are allowed to recruit a battle wizard. Okay. Your army has marched all it can, my lord. They must rest. Right. Fine, that's amazing. So then I guess this when we left click in this area, this brings up this issue. This brings up this uh, quest. So I guess this is optional content, not specifically, not really optional, but what I mean is that it's not attached to an army until I go there. So I choose to trigger this event whenever I want to. We'll deal with this in a second. Let's have a look at our leader. Where is he? Uh, how do I rotate through? Um, yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Where is my leader? Hmm? Army, army. Yes, okay. No, this is Garrison. Right, this is Garrison, but where is Carl Franz? I wonder if they removed my army from me because it's the tutorial. Okay, let's assume that they did. Let's do what we are told. We will end turn. Oh, okay, where's Carl Franz then? Alright, no, wait, 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 wait. let's not do this. Cancel. Mm, no, actually, let's not cancel. We'll spend some skill points. We're gonna make Carl Franz a solo death machine. We will give him. What are his stats? He has high leadership, bad speed. Good attack, bad defense. Hits like a truck. Is there some multiplicative things that we can do? Multiplicative, no, that's, mmm, mmm, that's a good increase, but that's also a good increase, that's 30% there, that's 18 attack there, 15 armor, 
thirty leadership. I think what we will choose is more attack skill. Does that synergize? Or that, that doesn't synergize with that. Well, attack. We'll get melee attack from these two. Public order. Maybe. Maybe. Then again, we can all in him. Now let's play it like this. We're gonna make him because this this gives me melee attack, melee attack. This skill gives me charge bonus, charge bonus. Charge bonus is multiplicative, right? Or well, at least it's a percentage multiplier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get. This charge bonus is not very impressive. No, let's do Deadly Blade. Dip. That's done, and we can enter. Hmm. Okay. Now I have the facilities to begin technological research, sir. It only remains for you to choose the direction of development. We need to choose our technological research, it appears. Mission issued. Research and technology. Okay, okay. Your empire is a beacon of civility in a savage world, sire. Mm -hmm. It's your task, mm -hmm. nay, your privilege. Privilege. See that it does not fall to the countless evils that mm. threaten its borders. Study your own strengths and those of your enemy. We will study our strengths and we will study our enemies. Okay, thank you for that. Assistance is available, uh, my lord. You may rely Yes, thank you. Okay, so I think we now have more control over this tutorial. Our objective was to deal with this. Let's do that. Let's first check out some stuff. So how do I where is By the comet. this flag is the army. Okay. Then maybe we need to buy more army. Or do we? So I guess now is a good time to talk about the status of cities and what this... In fact, what is this predicted income? Oh, okay, that's what it means. I have gold and I'll gain this much gold when I end turn. Fine. Strategic location, pottery. Let's talk about how cities work. So, provinces, like the Reichland, is a province. And Altdorf is the capital of the Reichland province. The Reichland province also has another three cities. Um, I can't remember if it was in Attila or the one before Attila, Total War, where some provinces had fewer cities in them. And there were quite, and four city provinces were quite hard to come by. And because you can have four cities, you can have more buildings, because you can have more buildings, those are usually the most productive provinces, therefore those provinces are ones that you try to min-max as hard as possible to maximize their effect on your game, such as building units or whatever else. Then, so we talked, we, talk, we spoke about what a province is, or the capital of a province. Let's talk about what these numbers mean. The amount of money it makes, pretty straightforward. The public order details. So we spoke about what public order is. At 100 public order, I guess there are set certain benefits that cities can get. At negative 100 public order, there is a revolt that happens, and getting there decreases the effectiveness of your city. The garrison size is the number of units that are spawned if the city is attacked and you do not have an army nearby. However, if you have an army, then the garrison size plus whatever the army size is will be combined. Now these resources, pastures are rare places of peace for animals to graze, blah 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 blah, blah and provides unique building chain. Okay, then does this mean pottery is also a unique building chain? This resource may provide unique building chain when constructed. It will be available through the trade. Okay, where then? Overview. Garrison button. This is the overview button, this is the garrison button. It's the building browser. Well, we'll come back to this later. Recruit a lord. Uh huh. So, these are basically generals for my armies. And I would guess that legendary lord. 
Legendary Lord unlocked after constructing the Alt North Conclave of Battle Wizards. Right. Transmuter. Right. Each additional Lord recruited will increase your total army upkeep by 2%. Okay. So the more we have, the more expensive it is. Okay. Is there a classification of these guys somehow? Lord, 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 Legendary Lord. I don't actually know what any of these guys do. They're all the same cost. I know what he's meant to be, a wizard. Um, that doesn't do anything. What does this button do? Hero, Battle Wizards, Witch Hunter, Warrior Priest, Empire Captain. So I, ge I guess these work like priests, spies, and whatever, and champions from the previous game. We will see exactly how they work in this one. Let us not get too stuck up on this for now. So we have some money. Let's buy some buildings. Mm. This is an Altdorf. We have this building. What does this unlock? Settlement is level 3. Can I make it level 3? I need 2 population. Okay, we'll get 2 population in a little while. This one we can upgrade. What does this give us? Income plus 60, more order, more growth, grants two construction slots in the province, allows that and that. So there is no negative to building this, as far as I can tell. Let's build that. This one is, uh, d -d -d this building does, growth and casualty replenishment rate. Okay, I'm not going to stress about it. We're not going to undo any buildings just yet to op min-max optimize the settlement. We're just going to go with what we have for the now. So, we're going to take our army, and we're going to walk over there. Oh, I just, I just pressed the, the backspace key to stop my army. Good. Okay. Make haste, men. So, I'll walk over again. Onwards. And then, we've done everything that we want to do here. We can't do anything here, here, or here. What we can do is... Let's have a look at some of these buttons. So this is objectives. This is technology. Right, we were meant to research some technology. It takes eight turns to get this. What is this? This is a blocker. Requirement levy. What is levy? Foundry, blacksmith. Right, so to do a technology, I need to have a building. Now, does that mean this? these are mutually exclusive. So if I get this, I cannot have this or this. Unit experience plus two for Empire Infantry recruits. Okay. Leadership of Empire Infantry. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I think I like this speed bonus. I think I like... I'm personally not a big fan of the plus two experience for infantry units. Playing in Attila, I remember specifically, I don't know when I played, well actually I know when I played, I played on launch. When I played, plus experience bonuses did not work, or at least well, I had vague memories of them not working. And I was very, very unhappy for building my character in a way to increase unit experience. So we will not do that. We will not do this one either, because I don't feel like having more leadership for my infantry is a big deal. At least yet, it might actually be a big deal. Instead, I will choose the, this option, which is 5% speed bonus. For gameplay-wise, it means that it is more of a micro style of play of your units. Because they have this bonus, it's more effective to utilize it when they're moving. So, we've selected that. Bam. Okay. And I think, I think, we'll end the video there, my friends. And I'll see you in the next one.